ball of mass 110 grams is moving towards a batsman with a velocity of 24 meter per second as shown in figure the batsman hits the ball by the bat and the ball attains a velocity of 36 meters per second if the ball and bat are in contact for a period of 0.015 seconds determine the average impulsive force exerted on the ball during the impact here the mass of the ball is given so which is 110 grams and it is mentioned that the initial velocity of the ball is 24 meter per second if you observe the figure so you will uh, you will be able to understand it is nothing but initial velocity along x direction why because the ball is along x axis there is no initial velocity along y direction and the batsman uh, hit that ball and the ball attained a velocity of 36 meter per second and that is nothing but final velocity if you observe that so that is at an inclination with horizontal so there you can find a uh, velocity component with respect to x axis and y axis so this is nothing but a problem based upon uh, impulse and momentum principle first let us write the given data this is the given figure it is mentioned that the initial velocity is along x direction only so let us consider with suffix x why because it is along x direction so here i am writing the given data u x is equal to 24 meter per second so initial velocity along x direction i am denoting like this okay so here if you observe the ball so that is along x direction only so along y direction there is no initial velocity so it is 0 meter per second and here after hitting the ball the ball went with a high a final velocity of 36 meter per second so it is at an inclination here it is away from the uh, point okay so here components will be also away like this horizontal component will be 36 cos 40 vertical component will be 36 sin 40 so from that final velocity along x direction will be 36 cos 40 and final velocity along y direction will be 36 sin 40 so here we need to apply uh, impulse momentum principle so we states that uh, impulse is equal to change in momentum impulse is nothing but a uh, product of force and time there is a difference between momentum and moment so here impulse is nothing but product of force and time so change in momentum means it is nothing but the difference of final uh, momentum and initial momentum momentum is nothing but product of mass and velocity so it is final momentum minus initial momentum moment is nothing but it is the measure of rotational effect on of a object so it is different product of force and perpendicular distance here momentum means it is nothing but product of mass and velocity here we are having components along xy direction so let us apply this principle along x direction and y direction so when i consider along x direction force component along x direction so multiplied by uh, the time which is nothing but impulse along x direction is equal to so i am taking uh, m common here so then f into t will be equal to m into v minus u so product of mass and velocity along x direction final velocity along x direction minus initial velocity along x direction here force along uh, impulsive force along x direction i have to find that and uh, it is given that Uh, the ball and bat are in contact for a period of time so that is 0.015 seconds is equal to mass of the ball is given as uh, 110 grams nothing but uh, 0.11 kg so 0.11 into final velocity along x direction which is nothing but 36 cos 40 minus initial velocity x direction so here we have considered final velocity uh uh like this and uh, components like this right so here 
these are acting away and along positive x axis this is positive this is positive but if you observe here initial velocity is along negative x direction so you have to represent negative symbol so it is minus 24 so if you simplify it you will get the value of fx so you will get around 378.24 newtons so this is the impulsive force along x direction let us find the impulsive force along y direction also from the impulse momentum principle so fy into t is equal to product of mass in final velocity along y direction minus initial velocity along y direction final velocity sorry impulsive force along y direction into and they are in contact for a period of 0 0.015 seconds and mass of the ball you know 0 0.11 kg final velocity along y direction is 36 sin 40 minus initial velocity along y direction is 0 if you simplify it so you will get the value of fy and you will get 169.7 newtons so you got it uh, fx fy so you need to find resultant impulsive force which is asked in the question so this is fx which is 378.24 newtons this is fy which is 169.7 newtons so now i have to find resultant impulsive force so resultant will be in between these two so let us consider that one is f so when there are two forces so you can find the resultant by using a, a parallelogram law of forces so here the angle between these two is 90 degrees so then f is equal to square root of fx square plus fy square fx is nothing but uh, 378.24 whole square plus 169.7 whole square which is under root so if you simplify that you will get the value of uh, resultant impulsive force which is nothing but 414.56 newtons this is the value of resultant impulsive force it is a force uh, not only specifying the magnitude you have to specify the direction also so let us consider this one as theta so from that theta equal to tan inverse fy by fx substitute the value of fy and fx here tan inverse fy is 169.7 and fx is 378.24 so then you will get the angle which is around 24.16 degrees thank you for watching hope you like it if you like it click on like button and don't forget to subscribe